Hey guys, as you have probably heard by now, we have received some very sad news today that friend um, and pillar of this community, John Schnepp, has passed away. Our thoughts are very much with Schnepp's family, with Holly Payne, his partner, his fiance, um, with all of our friends at Collider, and everyone in the community to whom Schnepp meant so very much. We loved him too. Um, we want to lend our support to you guys, to Holly first and foremost. So we encourage you once again to please go support the GoFundMe if you're able, even just by sharing it. Every little bit does really count and the medical bills will be astronomical. So if you can support Holly in that way, please do. Collider has released a video about Schnepp's passing and they are taking this time to do a live stream of some of his greatest moments of which there are so many. So whether you know Schnepp or you're unfamiliar, we encourage you to check that out and see what an incredible presence and force of nature and brilliant man he really was. Comic-Con was Schnepp's home. The Schwetties, who he loved so much, he was a massively talented creator. Uh, he directed Metal Octopus, which I our, in, our inside joke was <laughs> that I always said it insane. wrong, and I always said Metal Octopus, and I would send him <laughs> little pictures of a metal octopus that I would find. Like, uh, I knew him for many years. I worked many years ago at AMC theaters, for AMC theaters, when Movie Talk, which is now Collider Movie Talk, first started. And Schnepp was one of our very first guests on the show. Um, and he was, of course, amazing. And so he became a regular. And I grew to know him and Holly and have admired him greatly over the years, talked to him many times as he did his project, his documentary. Um, I know Clark. You were very close with Holly and Schnapp. You want to talk about him a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I think I'm. I feel um, I, I'm. We're here at Comic Con, and it, it it and it softens it a little bit. It makes it hard, but it also makes it it, it makes it a little easier um, because because yeah, I have really specific memories tied to Comic Con. Um, I met John uh, and Holly when I was a host at AMC Movie Talk and um, quickly became very fast friends with both of them. And, uh, and But it wasn't until our trip to Comic-Con, uh, just maybe like two months after I started working with that crew, uh, that, that John, Holly, and I became real friends. And uh, it's, I was saying off, off air, I was at uh, the bar, at, at a bar last night that was the place where I specifically remember solidifying like a real deep friendship with his fiance, Holly Payne. Uh, and I was looking around and I was just like, man, like, you know, it, it, was, a, it, was, a, it was a strange moment. Um, and, um, but you know, uh, yeah, and, and you know, I think the thing that you guys will all see, aside from his creativity, which, you know, go, if you if you think you know his work from, from these live uh, movie talk shows and things like that, that's great. But he also is an incredible artist and an incredible mm -hmm. comic book uh, artist and writer and, um, and uh, with Metalocalypse. And I mean, the, the, and the documentary, like, and the... He directed um, several films yeah, as well. Yeah, pilots. Uh, he, he worked with UCB. He worked in the comedy world. He worked... You know, so the point I'm making is like, do a little digging. Mm -hmm. Like, don't don't let his uh, you know his legacy is is so multifaceted, and um, and I know that you know discover his work, discover that art. Um, but the other thing outside of the, the the other thing you will see and you will hear people say about Schnapp, and aside from his creative and professional um, talent, is is how big hearted yeah. he was. Um, Schnepp, uh, sh you know, I'm going to be completely honest with you. Um, my my not working at AMC Movie Talk anymore was a really hard experience for me personally and professionally, like getting let go in a very weird way. And um, and I didn't lose Schnepp as a friend. 
And I didn't lose him as a colleague either. He had my back 24 seven all the time since the day that I met him. He came to every, he came to the musical that I produced last summer. He came to a live reading of Rosemary's Baby just a few weeks ago. Like he was at everything. Um, and he also was all about making people supporting artists and supporting creativity and supporting dreams. We had so many conversations because Schnepp did not drive. He refused to learn to drive. So he would oft we would often give him rides places. Uh, and I drive a little Hyundai Elantra. So like six foot five Schnepp like climbing into my car <laughs> was always a very ridiculous sight to be seen. But there were so many times where we would drive to wherever he needed to go and we would just sit in the car and we would talk. We would talk about life and we would talk about, and you know, cause Schnepp, Schnepp was 51 when he passed. And um, so he, he, he was my friend of course, but he, but he also felt like kind of a, like a, like a big brother in a way, you know, he was very, he was very, he, he was very much um, gave advice when you needed it and talked about his personal experiences, but he was such a supportive of creators and creatives. Um, he literally made a dream come true for me um, when he cast me as Lois Lane in something. <laughs> and I, and I, I mean, I got to like, I got to be Lois Lane, which is like literally a dream of mine since I was a little girl. He made that dream come true. Um, so yeah, Holly, Holly is one of my best friends. Um, and you know, this this is just a terrible situation. And so it's so nice that all these communities are coming together to support the GoFundMe because because you know, um, even with health insurance, this is not going to be financially. This is going to be very difficult. Um, mm -hmm. And um, so it's beautiful. It's really beautiful. And I know Holly is moved. Uh, by she she's been hearing stories over the last however many days um, that she didn't even know, you know, like she would go there, people would be telling her things and she'd be like, whoa, that's a crazy story. And I know some crazy stories about him. So, um, you know, I just, I think, I mean, I want to say as a friend of theirs, thank you guys. And thanks, you know, thanks, thanks you guys. Thank, to you, thank you to you guys for, for being so supportive and, and kind and warm. And, um, but yeah, this is, this is an incredibly difficult thing. If there is any kind of silver lining, I think it's that we, the sweaties are all here yeah. <laughs> together uh, mm -hmm. and uh, for each other. So many people here, not just with Screen Junkies and Collider and, and everyone in our community, but so many people in the industry that are here that have been talking about John and tweeting about John and sending their best wishes. Um, and, you know, the idea of the community that we have, because I feel like most Screen Junkies... No, first met John as I did through movie fights and I thought John was great on movie fights and the reason why was that he was so kind and so nice and treated everyone as a friend but at the same time he knew what he thought and he didn't care mm -hmm. if you disagreed with him he was going to tell you what he <laughs> yeah. thought yes. and yeah. he would fight it to the death and that's the kind of person that is so good on movie fights and watching him you know obviously he, he knew so much about so many different kinds of things and was so generous with his time and with his talents. And that's what I love about this community is, you know, oftentimes on our shows, uh, we are in competition with each other. Um, and, and just generally, I think a lot of people just think that we're always in competition with each other, which we're really not um, in the sense of like, we are a community and John was a huge part of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I, 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 it's very heartening to see everyone remembering him in this way. And uh, as Ross said, you know, um, to our friends at Collider, we would encourage you, if you're fans of John, um, to go for the next day and, and watch him. He was so fun to watch. Uh, and, you know, to them and obviously to John's family, to Holly, we are you know we're thinking of you um as so many people here in san diego and outside of san diego are, are thinking of you yeah. yeah uh i think uh john and i were more casual friends but I, th I think his legacy to me will always just be uh kindness uh i've always had very very terrible social anxiety 
And uh, so if I'm, in a, if I'm in a big group, if I'm not you know, full of strangers, I'm always just gonna be uh, hiding in a bathroom. I'm gonna be standing against the wall. I was at a uh, screening, it was a big crowd. We were waiting to all go in. Uh, I had just started with Screen Junkies. I didn't really know anybody yet. So I was, I think, just hiding sort of next to a trash can. And, uh, <laughs> and uh, Schnepp, who I'd you know, met a few times uh, already, uh, just spotted me and struck up a conversation. Absolutely did not need to. Uh, didn't have to, but just, I, I don't know, he was just the kind of person who always made it, wanted, seemed like he wanted to make you feel seen or welcome, so uh, that, that's what I would encourage. While you're uh, reaching out to Collider and uh, supporting those guys and watching that live stream, uh, make somebody feel good, make somebody feel positive, and uh, make them feel seen, and that's, that's John Schnepp to me. Yeah, it's, uh, I think what we're seeing even right here is probably what we're largely seeing in this community is that Schnepp whether he was uh, minimally or just briefly in your life or hugely in your life, like Clark is of us, certainly was the closest with Schnepp and is with Holly. Um, and or us who we were friends professionally and I, I really love them. And I really, for me with Schnepp, I think it's like you, Dan, his passion, his, his, his zest for living, his, um, ability to uncompromise, and Holly, um, ability to uncompromisingly be an artist was always and is always something that I so admire um, because that's really a challenging thing to do because it's not easy and it actually it wasn't easy for him um, financially um, and, and in many other ways. That was not an easy path but he took it because that's how much he believed um, in being who he was and that I think is one of the biggest things that I loved and admired about Schnepp and would love to bring more of into the world, and he is that figure, he's that model for people if you guys are aspiring. So uh, our hearts, my heart's with one of my very dear friends that was also very close mm -hmm. with him, Dennis N. at Collider, with you, Clark, with Holly, first and foremost, with his family, but you guys too, because as we're seeing here, he has touched so many lives with his life, and that's just remarkable in and of itself. Please support each other. Give your loved ones a hug. Say something nice today, like Joe said. Um, go support Collider. Go watch Schnapp celebrate his life. Um, and please do check out the GoFundMe if you can. Thank you for being with us today.